There can be up to and over 200 processes to complete before a set of glasses frames are ready. These processes remain the same today as they were in the past. There are two types of glasses frames, metal frames and plastic frames. Metal frames consist mainly of titanium. Because it's strong and light, titanium has become the main material for glasses frames. Plastic frames are created from acetate and celluloid resins. Plastic frames are often desired by users seeking eyewear offering individuality. Two types of frames with very different manufacturing processes. But the common factor is the fine division of labour required to produce both types. Groups of specialty craftsmen called chorba work to produce the frames. These craftsmen competed amongst themselves to improve their skills. Through repeated trial and error, the entire town became one great glasses production factory. A large number of highly specialized small companies produced high quality products. This local division of labor is a major feature of the Fukui and Sabai City glasses manufacturing industry. Introducing the basic steps to manufacturing a metal frame. The first step is design. Thorough research of the markets and trends leads to a proposal for new products and designers use this information together with specialized software and creativity to create an image. Sometimes images may be formed on a 3D printer. The following step is die forging and pressing. The design is digitized accurately using exclusive software and the metal processed according to the data. The craftsmen need to be able to imagine the actual item just from seeing the digital images in order to properly craft it. The die blocks are inserted into the press machine and each part is press processed. Depending upon the design, a large press with a few hundred tons of pressure may be used. Each part may require numerous pressings before completion. The next step is cutting. Pressed parts are trimmed and processed into various shapes. The next step is brazing. Brazing is the joining of parts with melted alloy at high temperatures. The temperatures reach over 700 degrees Celsius. Depending upon the materials used, temperatures may exceed 1000 degrees. Once the required brazing is complete, the parts are assembled into the frame shape. The assembled glasses frames are then polished using a high-speed motorized buffer. Any surface rough spots from pressing and brazing are cleaned and smoothed and placed in a square-shaped box called a barrel. The barrel contains abrasives, including walnut chips, which polishes the frames while rotating. It can take up to a few days to polish the frames. A range of quality assurance inspections are also performed. Here, the glasses frames are being tested for strength and durability. These stringent inspections are repeated over and over again. Eyewear frames that have passed the tests then go on to the surface treating process. The repeated plating process adds sheen to the parts and at the same time prevents rust or corrosion. Finally, we reach the finishing processes. The frames are checked against the original design drawings to verify that no distortion has taken place and no scratches or marks remain. Finally, a single metal frame is complete.
Next, we'll see the basic steps involved in producing a plastic frame. The design process is similar to that of metal frames, utilizing the latest 3D software. Rough machining is done in the early stages, while finer completion grinding is performed later in the process. This delicate filing is work a task only a skilled craftsman can accomplish. And filing. Each set is carefully, lovingly filed to shape. This important process will affect the final feel and appearance of the glasses, and so the utmost professional care is taken. Next, to ensure a better fit and comfort, nose pad manufacturing is important. To make the processing easier, plastic sheets are heated and the pieces punched out before being pressed into a three-dimensional shape. When this is cut in half, it's ready to serve as a nose pad. The next step is fabricating the temples. Generally known as arms, the temples hold the glasses in place over the years. This is where the work called shooting takes place, inserting the core into the plastic temple materials. A metal core is pinpoint inserted into the high frequency heated materials without a hole being required. The core strengthens the temple, preventing it from breaking. The various parts are assembled and polished before being shipped to the final finishing stage. If the gloss is uneven or needs refinement, further work can be done. In this way, a plastic frame is completed. The most advanced and precise processing technology is used to make the metal frames. While the manual labor of the skilled craftsman makes the plastic frames take shape, both types are made in Fukui and Sabaya City, long recognized as the premier glasses manufacturing region.